Hi, my name is Patrick Lips Houlihan, and I'm a former Marine Corps F-18 Hornet instructor pilot and senior instructor with a company called Afterburner. Now at Afterburner, we believe that learning happens when people are having fun. So for the next few minutes, I'd like to show you what an Afterburner seminar might look like at your next event. I want you to imagine for a minute, you're at your next meeting. Maybe it's a three-day meeting anywhere in the country, and it's the opening day, and you're serving your team breakfast. It's about nine o'clock, and your vice president, Joe Black, stands up in front of the group. Good morning, everyone. It's great to have you here. We've got an absolutely fantastic agenda planned over the next three days. As Joe begins his next sentence, suddenly air raid sirens go off in the back of the room. The doors come flying open and fighter pilots in flight suits come storming and shouting, we're looking for Joe Black. Is Joe Black here? We need to speak to Joe immediately. Of course, Joe looks completely surprised. Our main speaker comes running up to him and says, Mr. Black, I'm sorry to interrupt this meeting, but my name is Commander Houlihan and I've been tasked to lead this group on a military mission. Sir, could you please help me move these people out of this room down the hall to our main briefing room. We need them in their seats in two minutes with a pen and paper ready because our briefing is going to start right away. Let's go. Once the group is inside the main meeting room, the main speaker will be on stage and he or she is going to brief your team on the similarities between business and combat and then lead them through the six steps to mission planning. As we progress through these steps, your team will quickly see how these steps apply to a military mission, but more importantly, how they actually apply to your business every single day. Then the next surprise. One of our fighter pilots comes running up to the main speaker with a very important message. Well, Nortel Networks got some very interesting information. It appears as of 1300 local, you are now at war. Your entire team has just been recruited into your company's Air Force and they're going to go into breakout groups or squadrons of 15 where they're going to have one hour to use our six steps to combat mission planning. The team will use these steps to come up with a plan to overthrow your hostile competitors and save your market share. Afterburners fighter pilot facilitators will brief your groups. The brief will include the team's mission objectives, some of the threats in the area, and the tools and techniques that they are going to need to use to be successful. We'll designate an individual team leader or an ace in each group. Each group's ace will be given a top secret, highly classified ace checklist. And then the ace will take over the planning session. The facilitator will also hand out 14 other checklists to the rest of the people in each group. And then the instructors will step away. Now initially, it's going to be very quiet in that planning room. Everyone's going to be reading their checklist, looking around, and no one will be sure exactly what to do. About 10 minutes in, somebody is probably going to say, Ace, do we all have the same checklist here? Hey Ace, I'm actually Crystal. Does everybody have the same checklist? I don't know. I'm the overall commander and I'm in charge and we've got this roadmap to help us through the problem solving process. And then I've got six steps to mission planning. How about you? What's in your checklist? Well, actually, I'm the intelligence officer. I know all the capabilities and the threats of the target area that we're actually going to attack. So I can tell you how we can avoid them. And if not, I can tell you how we can negate the threats. Okay, awesome. Who are you? I'm Falcon and I'm an F-16 squadron commander. I have a squadron of F-16s that can drop dumb bombs day or night in any weather that can help us take out the target. Awesome. And who are you? My call sign is Chevron and I'm a refueling squadron commander and I have two KC-10 aircrafts that can provide air refueling capabilities to any fighters as they go out into their target. Now what starts to become apparent to Ace is that although he or she is the overall mission commander, it is critical that Ace takes advantage of all the available resources in the room if he or she is going to be successful. Of course, just like in your business, as they start to make some progress, things are going to start changing. Like, suddenly air raid sirens will go off, a scud attack hits, everyone is forced to dive under the table, take cover to avoid the incoming stud. Once the scud attack has passed, Stormy will contact the command post give them the all clear signal and learn on the walkie talkie that the Scud did in fact hit the south side of their room. And now your teams are informed 
that they have to take on the exact same job they had to do before with half of the resources. Oh, and of course, the clock is ticking, so you better get going. And now you've got a group that started out sitting in their seats, uncertain of what to do, who's now up out of their chairs, all crowded around a mission planning map, highly, highly engaged. You have conversations like this. Who can take out target number two? I can. Who are you? I'm Stealth. I'm an F-117 fighter jet. I'm invisible to radar and can drop smart bombs day or night in clear weather to take out this target. Okay, great. Stormy, what's the weather like over the target? Uh, it's clear for now. Chevron, can you give him fuel? Absolutely. Once their plan is complete, they're going to take that plan that your group has developed and they're going to deliver it to our fighter pod facilitator. And your notional fighter pods are going to go execute that plan. While the plan is being executed by your fighter pilots, your team, your group, is going to go back into the main briefing room and they're going to learn about something very near and dear to their hearts. We know one thing. Task saturation degrades performance. What is task saturation? It's the perception or the reality of having too much to do with not enough time, tools, or resources to get the mission at hand accomplished. We're going to spend the next 45 minutes talking about how fighter pods recognize, minimize, and even eliminate task saturation. Task saturation degrades performance. And like I said earlier, as it increases, errors increase and performance decreases. Once the task saturation section is complete, now we're going to go back into the breakout room and your teams will learn the mission results from the missions that they just planned. Overall, they're gonna find out that they were successful in taking out their primary target and saving your market share. But just like in your business, they're also gonna learn that due to some breakdown in communication, some lack of leadership, some poor teamwork, and some task saturation, that they probably made a few mistakes that day that had this been a real world mission, would have cost them some very expensive assets, like a $30 million fighter jet or some of their people's lives. At this point, the Afterburner instructors will lead your teams through one of the most important lessons of the day, as they bring up each ace and teach the groups how and why fighter pilots conduct a nameless, rankless debrief. The lessons learned from these debriefs can then be applied to the next mission, helping to constantly improve future execution. To conclude, we'll take all the teams back into the main briefing room and disseminate lessons learned from individual groups throughout the entire organization. Lastly, we'll bring your leader up on stage with our fighter pilot team and send them off the fighter pilot way as we wish you all good luck and happy hunting.